Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Lawless Listers, the Mark Wing podcast. This is the third instalment of the Trademark Basics series, and today I'd like to chat you through the UK trademark application process. So the application process for re- registering a trademark across the world is relatively similar. However, today we're going to start with the UK and talk you through the stages of the UK application process. So firstly, let's talk about the application itself. This can be completed online and it is highly recommended that you instruct a trademark expert to assist you with that to ensure you don't fall under any of the common pitfalls that may cause the application to be refused. As we discussed in our previous instalment of this series, a trademark search is highly recommended before getting to this application stage so if you want any more information on that please refer back to part two of this series where we chat through trademark searches and their importance so going back to the application process as i said the application is submitted online to the uk intellectual property office which is the government body who deals with trademarks in the uk both in terms of applications and maintaining the register of trademarks So the first stage of the application process is the examination stage. This is the uh, stage in which the UK Intellectual Property Office will appoint an examiner to your application who will look at the mark itself. They will look at the mark and the goods and services to ensure that the trademark is complying with the criteria of a registered trademark. The key criteria being the mark must be distinctive and cannot be descriptive of your goods and services. It cannot include a geographical location, an offensive term, uh, a protected emblem, uh, cannot be commonplace. The the criteria is relatively straightforward and this is something that we can advise you on before filing the application through the search. So if the UK Intellectual Property Office is happy that your trademark complies with all the criteria, it then moves to the second stage called the publication stage. This is the opportunity for third party trademark owners to file a block against your trademark application if they feel it conflicts with their early rights. This block is called an opposition and effectively is requesting that the UK Intellectual Property Office refuses the trademark application on the basis that it conflicts with their registered rights, either in an identical sense or a similar sense, and is therefore causing or likely to cause confusion in terms of the public. In the UK, this period is a two month period, however, can be increased to three months if a party would like further time to consider their options. As I say to our clients, no news is good news at this stage. If we don't hear anything, then this is a good news. This means that no oppositions have been filed and hopefully we can proceed to registration. If any oppositions are filed and we've assisted you with a trademark application, we will be in touch with you and we can detail your options. As I said, if no oppositions are filed, then your trademark is registered. There is a two to three week admin period at the end of the opposition period in which the UK Intellectual Property Office will update the online register and issue the certificate to you and then your trademark is registered. Your trademark is registered for a period of 10 years and can be renewed after this time for a fee indefinitely. So 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, you have your registered trademark. As long as it is being genuinely used and still remains within the criteria of a trademark, you are protected. You have that bubble of protection around your brand, ready to use if necessary, if anyone else pops up in the future. So please do get in touch if you would like to discuss the application process in a bit more detail, and please do have a pleasant and enjoyable day. Thank you.